What would be your overview of Rosneft's current standing and strengths in the market? As you know, Rosneft is a clear leader of the Russian oil and gas industry at this stage. Russia is the world's largest oil producing country, and we are um, the largest oil producer in Russian term. Uh, we do produce 120 million tons um, of oil per year. That's about two, two and a half um, um, million barrels of oil equivalent per day. We've come a long way. You know, Rosneft, as you know, has celebrated 15th anniversary this year. Uh, but uh, we, where we believe the future of the company lies is uh, becoming a true unchallenged leader of the global oil and gas industry, um, becoming one of the majors. For us, this is a clear strategic priority. This is a clear strategic thrust for the business. And um, you know, taking the company to the next level, becoming a globally diversified uh, energy leader is, is the vision that the company shares. Indeed, you're looking ahead all the way to 2030. What would be the strategic priorities? A global energy company does not evolve overnight. And uh, from our side, uh, we see ourselves um, investing much more and much better in upstream, um, going to international upstream projects, bringing some of the best technology and know-how of the global oil and gas industry to our resource base in Russia, helping ourselves with our service business and um, um, ensuring its, uh, its standalone capitalization uh, and development is critical. Uh, making sure that we work uh, as a partner of choice for many of the global internationals that do come to Russia uh, is another important dimension of our strategy. It's, it's a combination of things, but as I said, you know, we do have a long-term vision and um, are very focused on fulfilling that to the best of the interest of our shareholders. Indeed, you've touched on your reserves there. That's one of Rosneft's great strengths. What are the highlights there for you? Well, as you know, Rosneft has uh, proven reserves of about 23 billion uh, barrels of oil equivalent. Uh, that's uh, about 26 years for our annual production. Um, that is a unique resource base um, in comparison to any other publicly listed uh, global company. You know, the cost of extracting those reserves is also quite unique. Um, our lifting cost is only about $2.8 per barrel. Um, the capital construction cost for some new projects, if you look at, say, example of OneCore, who constructs a project that produces 25 million tons per year for about um, $5.1 um, dollars per barrel uh, of estimated production. So those are some fairly unique numbers in the global context, and this, is, um, has, this has been and will be one of the Rosneft's uh, greatest strengths going, going, going into the future. How does international cooperation and your work with other companies fit into your strategy? Well, we certainly see ourselves as an integral part of the global oil and gas industry. And um, as you've seen um, uh, over the last few months, you know, we've been um, acting as a partner of choice for many of the internationals looking to expand to the Russia. Um, you know, BP aligns um, uh, the discussion that we had and the agreement we reached with ExxonMobil and ongoing discussions with a number of other uh, partners um, is, 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 is evidence for our focus on partnership as a key part of, um, of our approach to um, sharing risks and creating uh, value jointly. Similarly, I think what you will see in the coming months and years is our asset, uh, asset swaps whereby we invite international partners to our Russian resources and sort of help um, working together, uh, help ourselves working together with them to develop the, uh, the Russian resource base, at the same time accessing the, the necessary skill set and uh, knowledge that we would, uh, wouldn't gain, gain otherwise international projects with, uh, with majors. For example, we see heavy oil as one of the key priorities uh, for us, and this is where we'll um, work with people that are specialists in heavy oil. We'll, uh, we'll look at offshore and uh, world's leaders in offshore production, such as, say, BP or Exxon, um, to, to bring their expertise and knowledge uh, to Russia. You're a key member of the management team. How important is corporate governance to the management team? Obviously, it's a critical aspect of our work. Being a leader in the Russian industry and global industry in terms of standards of corporate governance, um, standard of corporate disclosure and controls uh, is something that we've been very focusing on, uh, having the greatest possible discipline, um, internal processes that are aligned with the best global practices um, is, um, is a critical part of our approach. And this is a philosophy, this is what we do every day, um, and, and hopefully we'll keep on raising the benchmark going, going into the future. Pavel Fyodorov, thank you. Thank you very much.